What is up, amazing people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer back at you with another LSPDFR tutorial. And today, folks, I saw Highway Trooper post this uh, this new mod that was released uh, last Tuesday, I think it was. Um, and then my boy, our boy, the Mexican, sent me the link and uh, told me about this new mod. And I took a look at it, and I thought it's pretty cool. Um, so we are just going to install this simple mod and then do a quick in-game showcase on it to see what it's all about. So let's go ahead and get started. Click that link down below that says basic parking enforcement, okay? That's gonna bring you to this page right here. And this is by through ZZD, Thruzid, I don't know. Hope I didn't butcher your name, but we appreciate your contribution to the LSPDFR community. We really, really do. Uh, as you can see, it was submitted Thursday. It was submitted Thursday. Um, it's already got quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, downloads, a lot of views. Um, so let's go. Let's go ahead and let's get it. So go ahead and click that blue download this file. Agree and download. And uh, it's not that big of a file, so it should download fairly quickly. Yeah, there we go. All right. So I am going to exit out of my web browser. We have our WinRAR right here. Let's open it up and let's see what we're gonna need. All right, so double click that and double click that. So it's just a simple plugin, all right? So let's get to our main directory. For those that don't know how to get to their main directory, this is for Steam, by the way. Um, you're gonna wanna go to your local disk drive that you have your game installed through. Then you're gonna wanna go to Program Files times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Comet. You'll see your Grand Theft Auto folders right here here okay just hold tight let me get to mine uh, I'm gonna go to my D drive because that's where I have mine installed uh, Steam library Steam apps and comments so here's my Grand Theft Auto folders double click your Grand Theft Auto folder that you're going to install this into and here is our main directory front page as you can see we got our plugins folder scripts well if you might not have a scripts mods folder LSPDFR everything right here all right, so again, you're gonna double click the basic parking enforcement uh, folder, the Grand Theft Auto folder in your WinRAR, and you're, you're gonna want this plugins folder, okay? You're simply just gonna drag this and drop it in. That is it, okay? Now, let's say you don't want this, okay? You don't want this mod. All you're simply gonna do is you're gonna come into your main directory, you're gonna go to plugins, double click it, Go to LSPDFR, double click it, and you got basic enforcement right there. And then if you go down here, you have two basic parking enforcement files right here. You have the INI, the DLL, and then the folders. Okay, so while we're in here, let's go ahead and let's double click the basic parking enforcement INI. It's got the little sprocket right there. Double click that. This is going to bring up the INI, so it's going to show you the ticket menu is F5. The general menu key is Q. I don't have anything hooked, uh, linked up, uh, binded to these keys, I don't think. So we are going to keep everything in here the same. Play animation, random attacks. Uh, <laughs> drivers who don't think they deserve a ticket, rarely happens, they may attack you. Uh, and the play animation. And I am going to use US dollars um, for the currency. Uh, if you want to change the currency, you can go right here to this uh, to this site that they provided. So if you change anything in here, go to File, click Save, and Exit Out. We can hit that little refresh, exit out of our main directory. And folks, I will see you all in the game. All right, everybody. So here we are in the game. And I figured I'd pick this parking lot to uh, try it out, as there's a lot of parked cars here. So... You're in a parking lot, you just want to, uh, you know, check on a car and you know, you're bored, you're getting no calls coming through, you want to do a little bit of parking enforcement, you walk up to a car, you're going to hit your F5. It's going to bring up this parking enforcement menu. Now, you can check out the history on it, so you got a ticket there. This car had one ticket already. Status not paid. Um other it was just a simple parking parked in a reserved zone okay um and it had a, an, another parking violation so these are the offenses so as you can see they added up to 85 dollars not paid 
and it was issued on that date at that time. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can also go to vehicle check the dispatch, right? So you're going to check the vehicle out to dispatch? Target vehicle license plate, 08 King Nora Young 429er. Target is 10-4. All right, so the target's clean. Um, so, I don't know. Oh, current parking zone. Okay, so now you can go and create a ticket. Let's create a ticket. Uh, ticket violations. Uh, a ticket expired, so um, let's see here. Current parking zone. Ticket required. So this is Route 68. Ticket is required to park in here. Um, so if we create a ticket, there's blocking, double parking. You know, you can go in the city and find all sorts of uh, tickets, you know, parking in front of hydrants. Uh, yeah, right here, as you can see, parked within 15 feet of hydrant, uh, crosswalk, so all sorts of stuff. And let's go up to this vehicle. Now, this little, this little tiny guy here. And let's do a vehicle check on this one. Target vehicle license plate, 46 Lincoln Queen Sounds Sam good. 625. Target is 10-4. Whoops. All right, we're going to go over to this guy right here. I think this is going to be... Uh, this may be our thumbnail right here, y'all. All right, so let's just say we want to... Uh, this car has no ticket, so we want to create... We want to create a ticket, right? Let's go create a ticket. Come on. Create a ticket. All right, so uh, ticket violation and ticket expired, right? And we are going to submit it. And he's going to pull out his ticket book. And he's going to start writing a ticket for this vehicle. Look at that. How cool is that? Looking at the VIN number and everything. He's all done. Puts his book away. And I believe you can hit. If I'm not cool, if you, you, you can hit Control E. Okay, see now, my my thing popped up because I hit Control E, right? My spotlight thing. Yours won't do that, and this will actually show him put. We have an illegally parked vehicle in so, Bolingbrook Penitentiary. Control E, I believe. Comes, I don't know what mod it is. It could be six one A George Tom zero nine four. Proceed with patrol. All right, just wait for her to stop talking. Um, so, my E button is connected to my uh, my spotlight uh, offset settings. Yours probably isn't. So after you write a ticket out through this this uh, this new mod, you can hit Control E, right? And just for the RP of it, because the animation for the ticket mod doesn't show and put it into the windshield under the wiper whereas i'm going to try to do this quick enough so you can see it so the exit out of that so you can see oh i already given that one a ticket damn it all right let's go to this guy right here so we wrote him out a ticket with the basic uh parking and parking ticket mod that we just had and now we want to put it under the windshield wiper so you hit Control e and you'll see he'll take it i don't know if he's writing it out he might be writing it out yeah and he places it under, and then he calls it in. We have so that's pretty cool. Really that's a nice little add-on in, to it, you know. Uh, um, but Penitentiary. that's... Target vehicle license plate. Uh, zero 03, David, John, King, 816. Proceed with patrol. And that's it. That's it. I think that, man, this mod is really cool. I submitted something like this to Bajojo, and I hope to see it incorporated soon, where you can be in your police vehicle and uh, do these parking tickets where the ALPR uh, runs plate checks on parked cars. As you know, ALPR only runs plate checks on cars that are moving. So how cool would it be to be able to, uh, to be able to, to use ALPR on parked vehicles? Now, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna pull up right here and hit F5. 
Okay, so I thought it might have been cool to be able to pull up next to a car in your cruiser and check it, but I guess you cannot do that. All right, so that is going to be it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I really dig this mod. Uh, the Mexican, thank you, bro. Um, Highway Trooper, thank you as well. I appreciate y'all so much. If you're new here and you like what you see, hit that like, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell so you know when new content's added. Uh, giveaways, vlogs, live streams, role playing, tutorials, patrols, other games, you name it. Jeffrey Gamer does it. Love you all so much. We're so close to 3K. Let's hit it, baby. Let's get big together. Until next time, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. Later.